and the youth is also alleging irregularities in the vote. Its chairman, Tomiwa Aladekomo, told the news conference that there were inadequacies in the work of officials of the Lagos State Electoral Independent Commission. He's calling for a rerun. Yesterday, we have listened carefully to the chair. Specifically, there were three sets of challenges that we saw in Ikate uh, for polling units three to eight, the polling units were moved into the palace of the Oba, disenfranchising any voters who wanted to vote for anyone other than the ruling party. It's a terrible affront to democracy to suggest that polling booths should be placed in places where they are unreachable by people who want to vote for um, any other parties beyond the ruling party. Beyond that, in Igbokoshu, we saw a series of violence and harassment of voters, of our polling agents, um, and of anybody, again, who wish to vote for anyone beyond the ruling party. Lastly, in Lekki, several polling units did not receive materials until very, very late in the day. The latest of these were received at 3.15. Polling should have stopped at 3 p.m., but the polling materials did not actually arrive until 3.15 p.m. And so many people who had come out in the morning, who had come out earlier in the afternoon to vote, did not have the opportunity to cast their votes. We know Justice Phillips, who has headed the judiciary in Lagos, who is a woman of integrity, um, who has an illustrious career in the legal profession, will not tolerate the kind of conduct of, of some of her staff um, that they displayed at the election yesterday. We also know that she will not have tolerated um, some of the irregularities that were witnessed. And for her to continue to preside um, over that institution, uh, we believe that she will do the right thing to ensure that there is a rerun in that particular ward um, so that the votes of the people in that particular ward will count. I commend the party for coming out to express their grievances in a civilized manner. And I will urge the party to approach La Sec with a petition, you know, tabling their grievances and you know, itemizing them back with facts. I can assure them that whatever support we can give at our level to ensure that justice, uh, injustice is redressed, I, I can assure them that we'll be there with them all the way. All right, Mr. Tomiwa Aladekomo, who is the chairman of the Youth Party, is now joining us on the news. Hello, Mr. Aladekomo. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Good evening. Tell us more about your concerns. Uh, thank you very much for having us here this evening. Uh, our concerns are about the election yesterday and the irregularities that we saw across uh, the Lekki Ward D, uh, Lekki Ward A. Uh, we saw irregularities all across Lagos, and some of these I think people have seen across social media. They've seen the videos of people thumbprinting ballots for uh, the ruling party. They've seen all kinds of harassment of people across places. Uh, youth party ran candidates across the state. Uh, but most significantly, we saw real issues in Lucky Ward A, where our candidate Terry Taylor ran and ran an excellent campaign. Um, we saw significant harassment and violence in the uh, where both our polling agents, the voters, were harassed uh, with no intervention by the police in that area. In Ikate, we saw... Were the police, were the police on ground? They were on ground, and they did not do nothing. They did nothing to stop the harassment of voters, to do to stop the harassment of voting agents. What do you intend to do about this? All that you've narrated. Uh, yeah. So I think uh, just two additional things that are worth mentioning is that in Ikate, we saw polling booths being moved into the Obai Legbushi's palace, uh, where people who were not voting for the ruling party were not able to access. Um, in Lekki, we saw uh, materials not arriving until almost 3 p.m. at some polling units, or after 3 p.m. at some polling units, disenfranchising anybody who came in earlier with an opportunity to vote or trying to vote. And so we're filing a petition, um, and we're taking this to court. We are asking LASIEC to declare a rerun of the election in that ward, uh, because given everything that we have seen, there is no way that that could have been a free, considered a free and fair election. And we're trusting that um, it is important enough 
to La SIEC to be seen to be running credible elections that they will grant us this rerun in that particular award. So what will happen if La SIEC allows the result of the election to stand? Then we will take it to court and we will let the courts decide. Well, we wish you the best and uh, we have to stop here because of time. Chairman, a youth party, uh, thank you for your time. Thank you for having me. Have a good evening. God bless you. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.